Um, you said, you mentioned Arm Steven, and they were also at Hot Chips, and they have showcased two sessions highlighting their Neoverse processor designs. In the first session, Arm introduced the Neoverse Compute Subsystem, um, a solution that enables customers to seamlessly integrate Neoverse in two cores in their designs. What do you think this means for Arm in the data center? Yeah, so um, as you said, the, the, the first session that we want to talk about is the, uh, the CSS. And so essentially, um, uh, how most companies use ARM cores is either they um, license the core IP and kind of develop their own, or they kind of just drop in an ARM processor and, and go with it. But a lot of uh, systems are now looking at uh, wanting to integrate a uh, compute core along with other functions. And that's been pretty hard to do so far. The CSS approach is kind of interesting because essentially what AMD, or I'm sorry, what ARM is allowing customers to do is take these Neoverse N2 cores, which again is uh, the ARM data center core, sort of their mainstream uh, does everything, high performance uh, ARM core, and, and drop the IP, the design of that core into the design of something else they're building. So as we talked about before with chiplets, the idea would be that basically you would be able to take a CPU chiplet and then another chiplet that does something else entirely and integrate them onto the same chip, the same processor. Well, this doesn't necessarily, uh, isn't necessarily an alternative to that, but it does allow companies that are not using chiplets to do a similar thing with ARM's uh, Neoverse N2 cores. In other words, um, if you were designing, I don't know, let's say an advanced AI processor or something like that, and you needed a high performance CPU core, you could basically use CSS to take the design of that chip and just sort of plunk it right down into your EDA plan and, 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 and design your chip around it. And then you, 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 you uh, have that produced for you, you deploy it in a processor. It's not necessarily a chiplet, it's just a Neoverse N2 core that's integrated with what you're doing. So again, it's just a more flexible way to use these ARM cores. I think it's extremely smart for ARM to be doing this because people want to be able to use these cores, but the market is turning to the extent that people want to be able to integrate other functions, uh, accelerators and so on, along with CPU cores. And this allows ARM to get in on that game. On the other hand, the Neoverse V2 is an interesting announcement, mainly because we already knew about it, because this is what's used in the new NVIDIA Grace uh, offering. So essentially, the V2 is the next generation of ARM's HPC core. Um, and, and so the Neoverse V1, uh, we already saw that. It's already deployed out there in HPC machines. The V2 basically takes all of that stuff and turns it up by anywhere between 10 to 15%. Um, it's a bit faster, it's got a bit more of this, a bit more of that, it's manufactured on a new process node. Um, I don't wanna say it's not exciting, but it's pretty much what you expected from the V2 and uh, not a lot of what you didn't expect. And that's sort of what the market needed. So again, this is ARM's HPC core. Uh, NVIDIA is already using it very, very well, I might add in the Grace chips and ARM is making it available to other customers. Yeah, I think ARM is gonna really end up being the kind of um, the builder aspect of things with you know what you talked about with CSS, being able to kind of plan these things out and figure out how I wanna use them as opposed to going to one of the other larger companies and they're like, okay, you can do this or you can do that. You can't do both and you can't mix and match. With, with ARM, it's like, no, 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 no. You, you can work within this a little bit when you need more on this side, you can do that. Um, I, I think it ultimately gives people the kind of flexibility that they're going to want. And when you give them the flexibility, they start writing applications that can take advantage of that, which means you're not just going to see things programmed for x86 anymore. You're going to see workloads that are being programmed for ARM. We've already seen that transition start happening in the, in the consumer space, thanks to companies like Apple embracing the ARM technology. And so I think that you're going to see that move into the data center. And as you do, I think more companies are going to start getting on board with that because when they see the performance gains of writing the software to take advantage of those ARM cores, then people are going to be like, oh, cool, I need to do that now. And that will that will kind of shift the market. And of course, you know, with the ARM IPO looming, maybe this will increase consumption of those chips aside from mobile phones and desktops.